from the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio. This is the Live Music Showcase, brought to you by WMNF Tampa and listeners like you. I'm your host, Millie, and today for the next hour, we have the band Free Life Garden Club. Hey guys, great to have you today. Great Thanks for having us. <laughs> well, we're really excited to get to know you and hear everything you've got, but you know what? I'm into some music right now, so give me a song. Well, come on, let's get started. All right. I saw some people pacing up down their prepaid road Blinders, they only look behind them Too loud for words to cross and get through their holy fell Follow them all into destruction So come on, 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 come on Do to yourself Start a brand new day, come on, go all the way You never know, you might surprise yourself So won't you please get out of your own way Get out, get out Give it a go! Well, I heard their voices chatter off on so endlessly Screaming their sour sweet enough things Too loud for words to cross and get through that holy veil Follow them all into destruction Come on, 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 come on Do it to yourself Let's start a brand new day, come on, go on the way You never know, you might surprise yourself So won't you please get out Get out, out of your own way So won't you please get You're listening to WMNF 88.5's Live Music Showcase and live in the studio right now, we've got Free Life Garden Club. Thanks, guys. What was the name of that song? That was called Come On. Come On. A little bit of a self-help one. Yeah. Something while you're doing your laundry. You oh, know. there you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> get you moving. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's get to know our band. Uh, our vocalist right now is Joe. Joe how do you say your last name? Sokolowski. Sokolowski. Unless you right. sound Polish and you say Sokolowski. Sokolowski. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, you do guitar and vocals. I do. I write a lot of the music too, but these guys all help color it in such a wonderful way. Nice. I mean, there's only two of us here today, but we got a full band. And hopefully, we can do that in the future too. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, do you play anything else other than guitar? I like to mess around with like a piano. I can do trumpet and flute, very rudimentary. Uh, and I like xylophones, like alternative percussion, as so, many things as possible. Well, obviously, you got a, a few instruments there that you like messing around with, so you must come from some kind of musical background. Tell me a little bit about how you even got started playing music. Man, I got started playing music just because I loved music. When I was a little kid, I was just singing all over the place. There's like <laughs> pictures of me at weddings, like holding fake microphones and like wearing those cool sunglasses. I used to stand up on tables and sing Michael Jackson songs and stuff. <laughs> And I never really got into playing guitar or music seriously until maybe like the end of high school. And then I played Guitar Hero before I played guitar. And then. Do you I think Guitar know, Hero kind of got you? It was a gateway? No, not at all. I don't think it's the same <laughs> at all myself. No, I just, I just think it's funny to say. Nice, nice. Uh, well, next to you, we have Matt Powell. 
Matt Powell is like the jack of all trades going yeah. on here. Matt, I, I hear you play guitar, ukulele, bass, piano, you name it, you play it. Yeah, anything that makes sound, I like to try to make a sound out of. So <laughs> He's got weird flutes and stuff. Yeah, I play Native really? American flute too. Are you, are you into like Bjork? Because she uses oh, yeah. everything yeah. to make, okay, cool. I'm very into world music and like ambient music as well. Nice. Well, tell me a little bit about how you even got started with music. I started playing music actually, it's kind of funny. My, my little sister had a little toy keyboard and I would just play like on it. Like an electric and, keyboard? No, it was like a, seriously, like a little kid's toy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I learned Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And <laughs> I was about like, when I was 12, 13. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to start playing some more. And I ended up buying like a better keyboard. And I started on piano. And that's kind of what helped me t learn all the other instruments as well. Wow. Well, um, your garden, well, Free Life Garden Club is an indie rock sound. Is that correct? I mean, granted, you guys out there are listening to them as a uh, acoustic duo, so you're not getting the full fledge of the band. But what exactly would you say are your influences in the songwriting process and the sound that you guys are developing for the band? Oh man, the Beatles have yes. left me the blueprints <laughs> on how to write good music, I think. But a lot of old school bands from the 60s and 70s, I love Brian Wilson oh. of the Beach Boys. I love Amazing. the Beatles. I love the last album that he actually put out. The uh, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> oh, I haven't even heard it. Um, the one I listen to on a daily basis is called Smile Sessions, that oh, as yes. well as Pet Sounds. Those are, I'm obsessed. Yeah, uh, actually, Pet Sounds got that what behind the scenes kind of stuff. Oh, maybe we can keep what happens here at the radio station as a behind the scenes for when you guys work on that album. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? And I, I definitely want to talk a little bit about the process that you guys are doing to come out with this album because you're currently recording. But before we get to that, I'd love to hear another song. All right. All right. This one's called Waiting. It's about waiting. Just waiting. <laughs> just wanted to know if I should keep waiting for you Words turn far too slow Have I wasted all of this time on Turn around now, no need to look away Yeah, I know what you want, it's written right across your face Turn around now, no need to look away Yeah, I know what you want, it's written right across your face in wrong Thank you. 
WMNF is a listener-supported commercial-free radio station. Tips are accepted, so visit WMNF.org slash support and leave a tip for the live music showcase, the show that plays music you didn't know you wanted to hear. And we are currently live in the studio with the Live Music Showcase. Free Life Garden Club is the act that we have here today. Well, we have two of the members of the full band. It is an indie rock duo. And where do you guys hail from? Spring, Spring Hill, Hill Florida. Oh, there you go. Oh, the hill is hill. <laughs> I have such a love for this void. I love Spring Hill. It's yes. a vortex. It's kind of like where all the, the runoff goes from Florida. <laughs> it just winds up in a weird little pile there. Yeah. Are you guys originally from Spring Hill, Florida? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was born in Queens, New York, but I was okay. just a wee lad when I left there. Then I went to Ocala for a little time, but Spring Hill is my home for sure. Hometown. There you go. I am under the impression that there's a cultural revival going down in this poor little town. Oh, tell me but more. There's just tons of talent just seething oh. and waiting to be released, and it, it's, it just doesn't have anywhere to express it. There's That's, not many outlets out there, uh, but there is a lot of talent. A lot of talent. Truly, mm. like you got to come down to these parts to really get into anything too fun. Up there, there's one like a hookah place that uh, is like one of the central hubs of like culture and art in the area. Mm -hmm. It's where we play a lot of the time. And he had a previous band there. That yeah. Was pretty much their house jam band. That's ah. where I picked him up from. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw him playing. You know, hey, I need that guy. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> now the other, you have two other members in the band, and that's uh, Kyle Chenoweth. That's your drummer. Truly. And Andy Oakes is the alt percussionist. Yeah, and he's actually another member of the house jam band that mm -hmm. we recruited. Ah. He uses tons of miscellaneous percussion. He's got a bag full of tons of tricks. Like, he, he can wipe <laughs> his feet really good on the rhythm rug. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Kyle, he just does standard drums? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this guy is such a phenomenal drummer. He's got jazz chops. I, I was hoping I could get him out here today because I want his, you know, waves going out into space. But We well, yeah. were ready for the whole band. So we were like, what? <laughs> just two of you? You made it. Yeah, yeah. Well, this will be intimate. You know? Yes. Wow. Well, you know, maybe we'll get a chance to see you. You said uh, sometime next month, and you're going to put this on your Facebook page. Truly. Uh, you're going to be playing at the uh, Euphoria Emporium Hookah Cafe. Mm -hmm. Are right you guys? Spring Hill Drive. Drive. <laughs> Is it just you guys, or you're going to be playing with anybody else? No, it's just going to be us pretty much holding it down, probably about 9.30 to midnight there. Nice. Last time we had fun, we did like a, rock, a full rock set, which... The music you'll hear from the band's a little more rock and roll than what you hear today. But okay. we also do, like, during the end of it, once it gets a little late, we, chill just, it out. we just say, everyone get off your chairs and powwow on the floor. <laughs> and namaste. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and we, as, even the band gets on the floor. It's pretty fun mm -hmm. watching people actually get involved with it. Cool. Well, hopefully I do get a chance to come out there and check you guys out. And for those of you out there, if you want more information on this show, it's going to be posted on their Facebook page. And that's facebook.com, F-L-G-C, SOCO, S-O-K-O. Or you can actually just search for their name and that's free life garden club um you got to tell me about this name free life garden club <laughs> yes we're living on your street but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh pretty much a, a friend of mine a couple years back when i turned 23 years old we started a garden club and we just grew tons of food and throughout the entire year hosted a gigantic like thanksgiving with all of the food that we had created and for some reason just this uh, idea of the affinity group being the Free Life Garden Club, I always wanted to keep the name with me. You know, kind of in the light of like Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club <laughs> or the Village Green Preservation Society, you know. It just has a nice ring to it and I like it. Nice. FLGC. Although we get some funny uh, people like to rearrange the acronym with their own things to make fun of us. <laughs> the best one we got so far was the Florida Lesbian Gay Coalition. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's pretty good. So what does Ahsoka mean at the end of that? Oh, well, that's just the first four letters of my last name. Oh, well, that makes sense. There mm -hmm. you go. So <laughs> that's also a nickname. A lot of my friends call me Sokka. Sokka. Mm -hmm. Sokka. You know, but I've always known you as Joe. Yeah. <laughs> me too. That's, my <laughs> that's your name. <laughs> Maybe I'll start calling you Sokka now. <laughs> but you know what? Let's, let's hear another song. All right. This one is a little eerie. We gotta get out of this okay, laughter wait, phase. Why? You know? Why so eerie? Come this on. This is how it sounds. But, but why but it's is about, it's about a psychosis in a sense, about huh. being crazy. You'll hear. Okay. It's called they. They. Oh my god. Coming after me, right on my heels. Been watching my every move, and they 
live inside of me They pull on my strings They make me They break me Into You go tiptoe into the rain, they know me so well, much better than I know myself. Whisper insanity I'm go it's you, it's you You convinced me I'm living in You're listening to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase. And in the studio live, we've got Free Life Garden Club. If you want more information on them, you can check them out on Facebook. That's facebook.com, F-L-G-C-S-O-K-O. Or if you'd like, you can always check us out uh, on the WMNF live music showcase site. And that's facebook.com slash L-M-S-W-M-N-F. And I've actually gone ahead and added a link. You can just click on it. It'll take you directly to Free Live Garden Club. And today I'm your host, Millie. And if you want more information on me, you can find me on the social sphere. You can find me as Millie Vision. That's Millie with a Y, Vision with an S. And we were mentioning before that you guys are currently in the studio recording an album or an album or an EP. What are you working on? Uh, I'm going, we're going full album here. Full yes. album, okay. I'm going the concept album route. I just want to release, it's going to be a full length album right off the bat it tells a story from the beginning of it to the end it's kind of like taking a sci-fi dystopian novel and turn it into a, a album of music <laughs> oh wow yeah it's a little ambitious but the songs are all cool so yeah okay that's what you get to hear a little more rock and roll side when it's alive do we band. get to know what the theme of this album is or do we have to wait until the album comes out um yeah well i guess the theme of it pretty much is to be very critical of the world around you and to be really struggling with a feeling of wanting to change and inspire and create a better world for the future. Mm, I mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Are you doing any uh, cool things in the recording process that you'd like to share? Um, we're just trying to get as many strange instruments and musicians yeah. as possible. That's why like earlier when you mentioned that we have four members of the band, it's really not really fair to say that. The band is kind of amorphous in the amount of members it has. It's just a group of people that we're getting together that have talent. And whenever we need them to tackle a problem in, a, in the studio or for an event, we just gather whoever's available and whoever can do it. And we just keep rocking it out like that. Cool. And are you guys like still looking for odd instruments you just don't know exist? Uh, oh, oh, man. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. I would love. I'm always searching for good horn players. They're hard to come by. The really talented ones. Um, stand up bass and some even some other odd things. If you got any like baritone guitars or something weird. OK, well, probably from a. A Mexican uh, yeah. <laughs> mariachi group. Mariachi group. I need, <laughs> yes, I need one of those. Pretty there you go. One. Well, hey, if you guys are listening and you think you've got something you want to bring to the table, uh, and we also love listening from our listeners, and tell us what you think about the show and that you're listening. 
give us a call. Number is 813-239-9663. You can always text us as well at 813-433-0885. And of course, hit us up on Facebook. We love hearing from you there. And while I'm already on this topic, I just want to give a special thank to the, thanks to the amazing crew that helps make this show happen. And currently mixing it up behind the glass, we got Mark Perfetti being assisted by Stephen Schuler and our amazing video crew. We got Bob Hoke, Richard Stone, Tom Connors, and Marcy Connors, our producer, Steve Arduengo, who's not here with us today. And of course, I'm your associate producer, Mildred, also known as Millie, and find me as Millie Vision. But definitely hit us up. Give us a call, 813-239-9663. I would love to hear from you. And with that, I actually want to say, I want to hear another song. All right. All right, sounds good. This next one's called Television Says, and it, it, I wrote this song very recently, and it has a lot to do with the polarity of the world, how I feel that there is just so much bipolarity in the world. People have <laughs> any event that happens is just people start going, taking sides, and people start hating each other for no reason. And we really are yeah, seeing a lot of that now, aren't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. So this song's called Television Says, and it's about that a whole lot. Okay.
Are you listening to the live music showcase from your computer or possibly from your car, but you got to get up and go somewhere? Well, don't worry about it. Now you can catch the live music showcase everywhere you go. Get the new WMNF app available for iOS and Android devices. Listen to WMNF's online streams, check out upcoming events, keep up with our news, public affairs coverage, and more with the player. Best of all, it's free. Search WMNF Player in your app store or visit WMNF.org for details and links. And don't forget, you can also make a donation on the app. So if you'd like to leave a tip for the Live Music Showcase, do so now. And live in the studio, we got Free Life Garden Club. You can get more information on them and upcoming shows, such as the one happening at the Euphoria Emporium Hookah Cafe, just uh, middle of next month. You can visit them on their Facebook page, and that's facebook.com slash F-L-G-C-S-O-K-O, or visit our WMNF Live Music Showcase Facebook page, and that's facebook.com slash L-M-S-W-M-N-F. I got a link on there. Just click on it. It'll take you straight to their page, so you know you are on the right spot. So, guys, I actually would just love to hear another song. Cool. Well, I'm going to do something. This one is going to have uh, no lyrics to it, but... Uh... I moved back here recently from Salt Lake City, and uh, because I was thinking while I was out there all alone, I had no friends or family really, I was just trying to make music. I met plenty of great friends, but it struck me I had an epiphany about how important family really is to like making you feel good in life. And so this song is for my grandma because I came back and uh, she's been a bit sick and everything. And so I'm I go sorry. over to her house and I try to cheer up and she loves when I play kind of like old timey jazz sounding <laughs> stuff for her. So. We're going to play one of her favorite little instrumentals right now, and I hope she's listening right now. Love you, Grandma.
You're listening to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase and live in the studio, we have Free Life Garden Club. Thanks again, guys, for being here with us today. Anytime. Yeah. Seriously, thanks for having us so much. It means a lot. It's a great room, great sound, great people, and it's all done by our community. Isn't that fun? Yes, community radio, and we are supported by listeners like you, so don't forget to make a donation whenever you get a chance, or just leave a tip in our tip jar. Just visit WMNF.org, and you can donate to the Live Music Showcase. I actually would love to get to know our artists today a little better, even though we don't have the full band. We've got two members. Um, I want to do a lightning round. So right. in Bring this case, we're gonna, I'm just going to ask you uh, some questions. If you don't want to answer, you can say pass. Um, but it's just first thing that comes to your head, just say it. And whichever one of you can answer first, and then the next one, we just play it by ear. Ready? First one, what color is your toothbrush? Blue. Green. Okay. Which flavor of ice cream do you prefer? Cookie dough. Papa Clyde's. <laughs> if you could have one superpower, what would it be and how would you use it? I would grow broccoli from my hands and I'd feed people. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably clone myself and start a band. <laughs> <laughs> what single message would you send to an advanced alien race? Stay away from yeah. us, leave. <laughs> <Get up. laughs> You're better off over there. <laughs> What's the best gift you've ever received? A guitar. Yeah. Guitar? Joe? Yeah. Mine is probably probably a gun. A gun? <laughs> yeah, somebody gave me a firearm and I was like, wow, that's a really nice, nice. gift. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Uh, revolver. Oh, yeah. Oh, and like one of those old school like oh, yeah, cowboy revolver. <laughs> I like those. Those are cool. Uh, what was the last book you read? Mine is A Thousand Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I haven't actually finished it completely yet, but it's a trip. I recommend it to everybody. Nice. What was that book about? It's a. It's like some weird fantasy retelling of the history of man through some fake town. Like every, no one really ages and centuries go by. It's a, it's a strange book, but it's very poignant and you learn a lot about people in it. Interesting. Yeah, notable mention is Atlas Shrugged. Did you finish reading that one? Pretty, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> Matt, what's yours? Uh, I've been reading anything from Matt Parker. He's basically a comedian and mathematician. So oh. he has really interesting stuff. <laughs> what, what's uh, his book about, mostly? Uh, one of them is Things You Do in the Fourth Dimension, and he actually gives <laughs> mathematical reasons why it would work. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now, what quote do you live by? Do or do not, there is no try. Mm, I like that one. Matt? Akuna Matata. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> phrase. <laughs> oh, what is your go-to karaoke song? Mine is Your Blues by the Beatles. You pretty much get to say, Yeah, I'm lonely, <laughs> wanna die. <laughs> over and over, which, you know, is always a good sentiment. <laughs> Matt? I don't do much of karaoke, no? so... <laughs> At all? Not even like when you've had a couple? Uh, not really. No? No. I usually <laughs> like to listen, though. <laughs> all right. Well, here's another one. Pie or cake? It depends on what pie. <laughs> <laughs> pie, 100%. I love 100%. Dutch apple pie. Yeah. I love Dutch apple pie. Uh, pancakes or waffles? Uh, let's do pancakes for waffles. that one. Waffles. Waffles. Okay. Ooh, Shame you? on you. Who are you, man? Name two things on your nightstand. I actually have a record player on mine. Cool. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, a record that you usually always leave on there? Uh, I have a few. I like any, like a Grand Funk Railroad, Closer to Home. That's a good vinyl. Nice. And I have my lamp. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. No one's actually created an alarm clock record player. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? That you would have be cool. <laughs> you have to leave your records in there, though, for the next morning. There you go. On. How about you, Joe? I actually have a record player on mine as well. <laughs> and currently in it is, a, it's called Pathetic. It's like a Ch Tchaikovsky Russian composer guy, mm -hmm. classical music. I'm trying to rip some samples from it. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you know what? Now that I've already kind of mentioned that, what's something you wish somebody would invent? But don't take mine because I already gave, you know, alarm clock record player. <laughs> what, they, what they would invent? Yeah. yeah a, something. A, be a better battery or a better motor? Yeah. Okay. Like a different style of motor that uses is way more efficient with energy or a better battery that can store things and that will not be hooked up to a grid as easily. Hmm, I like that. How about you, Matt? 
Basically the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's power efficient and doesn't hurt the world. Okay. Or an instrument that uses water to make <laughs> the sounds. I would like to see that. They actually have one. They have some, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I forgot what it's called, but there's one that you put water in it, and then it kind of makes that really high-pitched, eerie, like horror yeah. movie sound. Oh. But now everything's digital, so we There's go. an <laughs> ocean harp somewhere in the world. It actually uses the waves, and it makes sound when you're standing next to it. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'd love to hear what that sounds like. It just sounds like women wailing. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like whales. <laughs> whales wailing. Now, what is one thing you wish you would have known when you were younger? That how it's how quickly uh, your age starts to take you without you realizing. Yeah. It. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I'm only 25, and I'm like, I already am like, dang, youth. Youth. <laughs> youth. How about you, Matt? I wish I would have started playing music younger, because uh, I started a little later. But it, yeah, I had chances to take lessons over when I was like eight years old to play the drums, and I didn't take it. So I, I wish I would have. Oddly enough, I when I was in eighth grade, they like messed up my schedule and tossed me in a band for some reason, and I was like, "Take me out of this! I don't run it. I didn't sign up for this." <laughs> and here I am now. Weird mistake. Yeah, and you'll never look back. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most bizarre thing to happen to you while you were on stage? Oh, I got a good one for this. Uh, when I was uh, living in Salt Lake City, I just moved back here a couple months ago. I was playing with this same band. We we called ourselves Free Life Garden Club there, too. Some really great guys out there. Let me give a shout out to Michael Cuenco, Ethan Shaw, and Andrew McIntosh. I love these guys. They're all younger than me, though. They were all like 19, 20 years old. And one time we go to this place out there. I probably shouldn't say the name because it's a little weird. But really <laughs> nice venue out there. A lot of touring acts go through it. Urban Lounge. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a 21 up kind of place. And so I never told them that my band members are not under 21. So like we get there, we sound check and everything. I'm like, this is going great. No one's going to know. We're going to just play and get the heck out of here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then out of nowhere, the sound guy knew my bass player, like went to high school with them. They just graduated. And uh, and he just totally like told them as we're about to go start to play. And we ended up having to cancel the show and like get thrown out of the place. Kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> but we had like a really awesome gig right after like house party style gig. So nice. it ended up working out nicely. Nice. <laughs> I have a very similar age story when I was younger, but that's for another time. How about you, Matt? <laughs> you know, I've never really had a crazy experience on stage. Everything has been really smooth. So it's like, I don't have a cool story like so that. So no women taking their tops off or Not screaming really. at the top of their <laughs> lungs, nothing? I've had a bra thrown one time. Oh. One time. <laughs> What'd you I do? Think it, I don't even think she was where. I think she like brought an extra one, you know? <laughs> yeah, hey, don't give away women's secrets, okay? That's like, you know, concert 101, bring an extra pair of panties and an extra bra. <laughs> you know, I got two more questions for you guys. Coffee or tea? Tea. Coffee, 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 coffee. Hot or cold? Hot tea. A hot coffee black, but in Florida, I have to drink iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah. Cats or dogs? Dogs, man. Yeah, mostly dogs. I, would I like have to cats say. too, though. But yeah, I like cats too. Hot dogs or hamburgers? Burger. Yeah, I want a burger. <laughs> <laughs> and what advice would you give to someone with a broken heart? Have you had a broken heart? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Might be currently. I mean, that's like songwriting fuel right there. <laughs> I would say, you know. Uh, Eat some food that's bad for you. Sleep a whole bunch. <laughs> just, you know, get on with it. <laughs> okay. Comfort food and and move along. <laughs> How about you, Matt? I'd probably just say ride the waves. That's kind of what always gets me through everything. Life always has ups and downs. You just have to enjoy the ride. You know, with that one, let's go into a song. All right, yeah. This is another song for Grandma. Well, it's not really. F oh, never mind. I've been going to the doctor a lot with my grandma and this song's about a doctor, but more specifically it's kind of about prescription pill addiction. But here we go. What's best? 
for me She's gonna save me from myself do 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 Then when my, oh my, bottle's empty I've gotta get back through to you to everyone who contributed to our summer membership drive if you have not sent back your pledge payment or circle of friends paperwork please do it now please contact Jean Moore at 813-238-8001 or email Jean at Jean G-E-N-E -E, at WMNF.org thank you for your generous support and you're listening to the live music showcase on WMNF 88.5 and live in the studio we've got free live garden club don't forget check them out on Facebook that's facebook.com slash F L G C S O K O or you can just search for them that's free life garden club it should come up and they have a pretty little rose is that what it is? A big red rose? Yeah, I grew that rose. Really? From a seed Aww. from another rose that I grew. <laughs> Was that here in Florida? <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's a really pretty rose, and I love the photo, too. So definitely check them out, or if you can't seem to find it or forgot, don't forget to just add the Live Music Showcase on Facebook, and we always post the links to the bands that are playing live in the studio. And I just want to give a special thanks real quick again to our amazing crew, that helps make everything happen. And of course, behind the glass, mixing it up, we got Mark Perfetti being assisted by Steven Schuler, our amazing video crew, Bob Hoke, Richard Stone, Tom Connors, and Marcy Connors, and our producer, Steve Arduengo, who's not here with us today, and I am your associate producer, Mildred, but today I am your host, Millie, and you can find me as Millie Vision on the social sphere. That's Millie with a Y, Vision with an S. And yes, I did mention we have an amazing video crew here and the video crew is actually recording this for YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you just heard this and you didn't get a chance to hear the whole show, you can either go to WMNF.org and listen on the archive or check out our YouTube page. So to watch the live music showcase, visit us at WMNF885FM. Okay, just uh, search for that and make sure to subscribe. Once again, that's WMNF885FM, and that'll get you there. Also, don't forget, you can check us out on the app, and you can always listen on there, including our archives. So, guys, I want to hear more stuff, but you guys don't have an album out yet. It's coming. Patience. It's coming. Hunger so, is the best spice. How do we get... The music so we're doing a little unorthodox approach here pretty much if you have curiosity and hunger you can email us at freelifegardenclub at gmail.com and all you gotta do is pretty much say your name you can say anything you want if you just send me an email I'll send you some music I'll send you some tunes we have some scratch tracks and recordings and live videos that we're giving out to the people that care for us and that 
are going to put a little time in to come figure out who we are or what we do. What's that email again? FreeLifeGardenClub at gmail.com. No mm. spaces in that, any of that? All together. All right. I'll make sure to put that on the Facebook page as well. But you guys, just it's easy to remember. What music were you listening to today that you liked? Oh, yeah, that's Free Life Garden Club. FLGC, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so we still have some time. We can definitely do some more music. So let's hear another song. All right. Cool. Real quickly, I'm going to do a song that's really close to my heart, and then we're going to bridge it into another one after. Uh, but this is a song that Brian Wilson made up, and it goes out to my friend named uh, Matt Stia. He's living in Spring Hill. He's a poet there. Uh, he's a great kid, a really good friend of mine. We just went on a road trip right before I came back to Florida, went to Lake Tahoe and all through California, did some gigs while we were out there. But uh, he loves the song, so do I. <laughs> I'm gonna be round my vegetables I'm gonna chow down on vegetables I love you most of all My favorite vegetable I'll take a veg I'm gonna keep well my vegetables Cart off and sell my vegetables I love you most of all My favorite vegetable well, I threw away my candy bar, but I ate the wrapper. Oh, and they told me what I did, you know, I burst into laughter. I'm gonna keep well my vegetables, cart off and sell my vegetables. I love you most of all, my favorite vegetable. I'll take vegetable. I tried to kick the ball, but my tanny flew right off. And I'm red as a beat, cause I'm so embarrassed. Mom and Daddy said, eat a lot, sleep a lot, brush them like crazy. Run a lot, do a lot, never be lame. Mom and Daddy said, eat a lot, sleep a lot, brush them like crazy. Run a lot, do a lot, never be Tell us the name of your, your favorite vegetable. You're listening to WMNA 8.5 Live Music Showcase. And live in the studio, we got Free Life Garden Club. What was the name of that song again? Vegetables. <laughs> Free Life Garden Club. Free Life Garden Club. It's a Brian Wilson tune. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, no, um, that, that was great. I loved it. <laughs> I just want to say uh, Joe from Dover actually contacted us and said he found one instrument that looks like a cool. A what? K E W L. Cool. I think that's just another spelling of cool. <laughs> Probably. Oh, that looks cool. There we go. So if you know Joe from Dover, we'll find him. Uh, we'll find him. <laughs> Show us the cool. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> make sure you, uh, you hit him up on Facebook. That's F L G C S O K O on Facebook. Or just look up Free Life Garden Club and hit them up there. Also, we had Tim Pinelli uh, who uh, contacted us and said, enjoying the show very much, guys. Love it. Ooh, thanks. thanks a lot. We love you too. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> For now. <laughs> well, we got we got about five minutes left on the show. Oh boy, oh. we got to do a good one now. Oh yeah, so we definitely have time for uh, for another song. And, of course, I just once again, thank you to the crew who makes this happen. Thank you to all the supporters out there. 
uh, that make this show happen as well. Without your support, the Live Music Showcase could not go on. And just remember, WMNF is a listener-supported commercial-free radio station. Tips are accepted, so visit WMNF.org slash support and leave a tip for the Live Music Showcase, the show that plays music you didn't know you wanted to hear. Once again, Free Life Garden Club live on the Live Music Showcase, Tampa Bay. Take it away, boys. This one's called Kaleidoscope. WMNF 88.5's live music showcase in the studio that was Free Life Garden Club. Stay tuned for NPR and the Reverend. You know, guys, give me a little bit more. Give me another song. All right, cool. I got songs for days. All right. You spill your mind 
You gotta tell me about this name. Free Life Garden Club. <laughs> yes. We're living on your street. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, pretty much a, a friend of mine, a couple years back, when I turned 23 years old, we started a garden club and we just grew tons of food and then throughout the entire year hosted a gigantic like Thanksgiving with all of the food that we had created. And for some reason, just this uh, idea of the affinity group being the Free Life Garden Club, I always wanted to keep the name with me. You know, kind of in the light of like Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club (laughs) or the Village Green Preservation Society, you know, it just has a nice ring to it and I like it. FLGC, although we get some funny uh, people like to rearrange the acronym with their own things to make fun of us. (laughs) The best one we got so far was the Florida Lesbian Gay Coalition. Oh my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's pretty good. So what does a SOCO mean at the end of that? Oh, well, that's just the first four letters of my last name. Oh, well, that makes sense. There mm-hmm. you go. <laughs> That's also a nickname. A lot of my friends call me Sako. Sako? Mm-hmm. Sako. You know, but I've always known you as Joe. Yeah. <laughs> me too. That's, my... <laughs> That's your name. <laughs> Maybe I'll start calling you Sako now. <laughs> but you know what? Let's let's hear another song. All right. This one is a little eerie. We've got to get out of this okay, laughter wait, phase. Why, why so eerie? Come on. This is how it sounds. But, but why but it's is about, It's about a psychosis in a sense, about huh. being crazy. You'll hear. Okay. It's called They. They? Oh my god. And they're coming after me Right on my heels Been watching my ever Rainbow. And they live inside of me They pull on my 
my strings They make me They break me Into Tiptoeing to the rain, they know me so well, much better than I know myself. Whisper insanity, go, it's you, it's you, you convinced me I'm living in. You're listening to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase. And in the studio live, we've got Free Life Garden Club. If you want more information. Tried too hard to feed your rent Red, white, and blue We used to flaunt I love your ghost But you're long gone So gone Gone WMNF is a listener-supported commercial-free radio station. Tips are accepted, so visit WMNF.org slash support and leave a tip for the live music showcase, the show that plays music you didn't know you wanted to hear. And we are currently live in the studio with the live music showcase. Free Life Garden Club is the act that we have here today. Well, we have two of the members of the full band. It is an indie rock duo. And where do you guys hail from? Spring, Spring Hill, Hill Florida. Oh, there you go. Oh, the hill is hill. <laughs> I have such a love for this void. I love Spring Hill. It's yes. a vortex. It's kind of like where all the, the runoff goes from Florida. <laughs> it just winds up in a weird little pile there. Yeah. Are you guys originally from Spring Hill, Florida? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was born in Queens, New York, but I was okay. just a wee lad when I left there. Then I went to Ocala for a little time, but Spring Hill is my home for sure. Hometown. There you go. I am under the impression that there's a cultural revival going down in this poor little town. Oh, tell me but more. There's just tons of talent just seething oh. and waiting to be released, and it it's, it just doesn't have anywhere to express it. There's That's, not many outlets out there, uh, but there is a lot of talent. 
A lot of talent. Truly, mm. like you got to come down th- to these parts to really get into anything too fun. Up there, there's one like a hookah place that uh, is like one of the central hubs of like culture, art in the area. Mm-hmm. It's where we play a lot of the time. And he had a previous band there. That yeah, he, pretty much their house jam band. That's ah. where I picked him up from. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> so you saw him playing. You know, hey, I need that guy. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> now the other, you have two other members in the band, and that's uh, Kyle Chenoweth. That's your drummer. Truly. And Andy Oakes is the alt percussionist. Yeah, and he's actually another member of the house jam band that mm-hmm. we recruited. Ah. He uses tons of miscellaneous percussion. He's got a bag full of tons of tricks. Like he he can wipe <laughs> his feet really good on the rhythm rug. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Kyle, he just does standard drums. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this guy is such a phenomenal drummer. He's got jazz chops. I I was hoping I could get him out here today because oh. I want his you know waves going out into space. But well, yeah. we're ready for the whole band, so we we're like, what? <laughs> just two of you made it yeah. Yeah. well this will be intimate you know yes wow well you know maybe we'll get a chance to see you you said uh sometime next month and you're gonna put this on your facebook page truly uh you're gonna be playing at the uh, euphoria emporium hookah cafe mm-hmm. are you guys Spring Hill Drive. <laughs> is it just you guys or you're gonna be playing with anybody else no it's just gonna be us pretty much holding it down probably about 9 30 to midnight there nice last nice. time we had fun we did like a, rock, a full rock set which the music you'll hear from the band is a little more rock and roll than what you hear today. But okay. we also do, like, during the end of it, once it gets a little late, we, we, chill just, it out. we just say, everyone, get off your chairs and powwow on the floor. <laughs> and namaste. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we, as, even the band gets on the floor. It's pretty fun mm-hmm. watching people actually get involved with it. Cool. Well, hopefully I do get a chance to come out there and check you guys out. And for those of you out there, if you want more information on this show, it's going to be posted on their Facebook page. And that's Facebook.com, F-L-G-C, SOCO, S-O-K-O. Or you can actually just search for their name and that's free life garden club um ancient on them you can check them out on facebook that's facebook.com f l g c s o k o or if you'd like you can always check us out uh on the wmnf live music showcase site and that's facebook.com slash l m s w m n f and i've actually gone ahead and added a link you can just click on it'll take you directly to free live garden club and today i'm your host millie and if you want more information on me you can find me on the social sphere you can find me as millie vision that's millie with a y vision with an s and we were mentioning before that you guys are currently in the studio recording an album or an album or an EP what are you working on oh, I'm going we're going full album here full yes. album. okay I'm going the concept album route I just want to release it's going to be a full length album right off the bat it tells a story from the beginning of it to the end it's kind of like taking a sci-fi dystopian novel and turn it into a, a album of music <laughs> oh wow yeah it's a little ambitious but the songs are all cool so yeah Okay. That's what you get to hear a little more rock and roll side when it's alive. Do we band. get to know what the theme of this album is, or do we have to wait until the album comes out? Um, yeah, well, I guess the theme of it pretty much is to be very critical of the world around you and to be really struggling with a feeling of wanting to change and inspire and create a better world for the future. Hmm, I mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Are you doing any uh, cool things in the recording process that you'd like to share? Um. We're just trying to get as many strange instruments and musicians yeah. as possible. That's why, like, earlier when you mentioned that f- we have four members of the band, it's really not really fair to say that. The band is kind of amorphous in the amount of members it has. It's just a group of people that we're getting together that have talent, and whenever we need them to tackle a problem in, a re- in the studio or for an event, we just gather whoever's available and whoever can do it, and we just keep rocking it out like that. Cool. And are you guys, like, still looking for odd instruments you just don't know exist? Uh, oh, oh, man. <laughs> I wish. Definitely. <laughs> I wish I would love. I'm always searching for good horn players. They're hard to come by. The really talented ones, um, stand-up bass, and some even some other odd things. If you got any like baritone guitars or something weird. Okay, well, probably from a a Mexican uh, yeah. <laughs> mariachi group. Guitars. Mariachi group. Need, <laughs> yes, I need one of those. Pretty there you go. Well, hey, if you guys are listening and you think you've got something you want to bring to the table, uh, and we also love listening from our listeners, and tell us what you think about the show and that you're listening. Give us a call. Number is 813-239-9663. You can always text us as well at 813-433-0885. And, of course, 
Hit us up on Facebook. We love hearing from you there. And while I'm already on this topic, I just want to give a special thank to the, thanks to the amazing crew that helps make this show happen. And currently mixing it up behind the glass, we got Mark Perfetti being assisted by Stephen Schuler And our amazing video crew, we got Bob Hoke, Richard Stone, Tom Connors, and Marcy Connors, our producer, Steve Arduengo, who's not here with us today. And of course, I'm your associate producer, Mildred, also known as Millie, and find me as Millie Vision. But definitely hit us up give us a call 813-239-9663 i would love to hear from you and with that i actually want to say i want to hear another song all right all right sounds good this next one's called television says and it, it i wrote this song very recently and it has a lot to do with the polarity of the world how i feel that there's just so much bipolarity in the world people have <laughs> any event that happens it's just people start going taking sides and people start hating each other for no reason yeah, we really are yeah, seeing uh, a lot of that now aren't we oh yeah so this song's called television says and it's about that a whole lot okay From the Mike Guys and Stat Performance Studio, this is the Live Music Showcase, brought to you by WMNF Tampa and listeners like you. I'm your host, Millie, and today for the next hour, we have the band Free Life Garden Club. Hey guys, great to have you today. Great Thanks to for having us. <laughs> well, we're really excited to get to know you and hear everything you've got, but you know what? I'm into some music right now, so give me a song. Well, come on, let's get started. All right. I saw some people pacing up down their prepaid road Blinders, they only look behind them Too loud for words to cross and get through their holy fair Follow them all into destruction So come on, 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 come on Do to yourself Start a brand new day, come on, go all the way You never know, you might surprise yourself So won't you please get out of your own way Get out, get out Give it a go! Well, I heard their voices chatter off on so endlessly Screaming their sour speaking of things Too loud for words to cross and get through that holy veil Follow them all into destruction Come on, 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 come on Do to yourself Let's start a brand new day, come on, go on the way You never know, you might surprise yourself So won't you please get out Get out, out of your own way So won't you please 
You're listening to WMNF 88.5's live music showcase and live in the studio right now, we've got Free Life Garden Club. Thanks, guys. What was the name of that song? That was called Come On. Come On. A little bit of a self-help one. Yeah. Something while you're doing your laundry. You oh, know. there you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> get you moving. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's get to know our band. Uh, our vocalist right now is Joe. Joe, how do you say your last name? Sokolowski. Sokolowski. Unless you right. sound Polish, then you say Sokolowski. Sokolowski. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, you do guitar and vocals. I do. I write a lot of the music, too, but these guys all help color it in such a wonderful way. Nice. I mean, there's only two of us here today, but we got a full band. And hopefully we can do that in the future too yeah <laughs> well uh, do you play anything else other than guitar i like to mess around with like a piano i can do trumpet and flute very rudimentary uh and I like xylophones, like alternative percussion, as so, many things as possible. Well, obviously, you got a, a few instruments there that you like messing around with, so you must come from some kind of musical background. Tell me a little bit about how you even got started playing music. Man, I got started playing music just because I loved music. When I was a little kid, I was just singing all over the place. There's like <laughs> pictures of me at weddings, like holding fake microphones and like wearing those cool sunglasses. I used to stand up on tables and sing Michael Jackson songs <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> And I never really got into playing guitar or music seriously until maybe like the end of high school. And then I played Guitar Hero before I played guitar. And then. Do you I think Guitar know, Hero kind of got you? It was a gateway? No, not at all. I don't think it's the same <laughs> at all myself. No, I just, I just think it's funny to say. Nice, nice. Uh, well, next to you, we have Matt Powell. Matt Powell is like the jack of all trades going yep. on here. Matt, I, I hear you play guitar, ukulele, bass, piano, you name it, you play it. Yeah, anything that makes sound, I like to try to make a sound out of. So <laughs> He's got weird flutes and stuff. Yeah, I play Native really? American flute too. Are you, are you into like Bjork? Because she uses oh, yeah. everything yeah. to make, okay, cool. I'm very into world music and like ambient music as well. Nice. Well, tell me a little bit about how you even got started with music. I started playing music actually, it's kind of funny. My, my little sister had a little toy keyboard and I would just play like on it. Like a little electric and, keyboard? No, it was like a, seriously, like a little kid's toy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I learned Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And <laughs> I was about like, when I was 12, 13, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to start playing some more. And I ended up buying like a better keyboard and I started on piano and that's kind of what helped me t learn all the other instruments as well. Wow. Well, um, your garden, well, Free Life Garden Club is an indie rock sound. Is that correct? I mean, granted, you guys out there are listening to them as a uh, acoustic duo, so you're not getting the full fledge of the band. But what exactly would you say are your influences in the songwriting process and the sound that you guys are developing for the band? Oh, man, the Beatles have yes. left me the blueprints <laughs> on how to write good music, I think. But a lot of old school bands from the 60s and 70s. I love Brian Wilson oh. of the Beach Boys. I love Amazing. the Beatles. I love the last album that he actually put out. The uh, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> oh, I haven't even heard it. Um, the one I listen to on a daily basis is called Smile Sessions, that oh, as yes. well as Pet Sounds. Those are I'm obsessed. Yeah, uh, actually, Pet Sounds got that what behind the scenes kind of stuff. Oh, maybe we can keep what happens here at the radio station as a behind the scenes for when you guys work on that album. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? And I, re I definitely want to talk a little bit about the process that you guys are doing to come out with this album because you're currently recording. But before we get to that, I'd love to hear another song. All, All right. right. This one's called Waiting. It's about waiting. Just waiting. <laughs> just wanted to know if I should keep waiting for you Words turn far too slow Have I wasted all of this time on Turn around now, no need to look away Yeah, I know what you want, it's written right across your face Turn around now, no need to look away Yeah, I know what you want, it's written right across your face In running Maker. 
Oh yeah, whatever, never mind. Ah. 